New Year's Day and your New Year's resolutions may seem like a distant memory. According to Purdue psychologist, only 8% of people who make them succeed. And of course, one of the most common resolutions year after year is to lose weight. In a special segment this evening, News 18's Jesse Hawila shares his weight loss story, as well as the story of a West Lafayette resident who changed his life, and he's now helping change the lives of others. <coughs> Jesse? Yeah, Jeff and Gina, obesity is a growing problem in this country, and it's something I can really relate to. Just four years ago, I weighed more than 300 pounds. Seeing my weight that high changed my life forever, and I sit in front of you today 115 pounds lighter, healthier, more in shape than I've ever been. I'm here to tell you my story, as well as the story of Dozy Anunquo. My lifestyle change led to achieving the job of my dreams. Dozy's lifestyle change led him to change the lives of others. This is Dozy Anunquo in 2004. He admits living a very unhealthy lifestyle, moving him down a road to severe health complications at an early age. As a teenager classified as obese and weighing more than 300 pounds, he knew it was time to change his life. At the age of 19, when I started having chest pains, and I had to go to the hospital and actually you know, get seen by a doctor because I was having chest pains, and I was sitting in the waiting room, me, myself, 20 years old, and seeing people that could be my parents in there. I said, I have no business being in a place like this at this age. Dozy made the change to healthy foods, getting active, and pushing himself to be in shape. Now a personal trainer, health expert, and founder of Be In Shape Clothing, Dozy helps others change their unhealthy habits. There's no magic trick, there's no magic pill, right. there's no magic diet. What's it all about? It's really all about making it a permanent lifestyle change. That's the key phrase, lifestyle change. Diet fads, magic pills, and starving yourself don't do the trick. Let's rewind back to my high school days. This was me in 2007. Fast food trips at least once a day and the classic couch potato, it's obvious why I was so out of shape and weighed 315 pounds. I made every excuse in the book. It wasn't a low metabolism or bad genetics, it was my life habits. I was the problem. I tried the complicated diet fads and ended up losing weight only to gain more back. Like Dozy, I made the lifestyle change, and you can too. Just make small steps, change your eating habits, cut out some of the soda, maybe ex exercise a little more frequently, two or three times a week, and start there. Once you get used to that, once you start seeing some results, then that'll motivate you to continue moving forward, making new changes, and encourage you to make it a permanent change. So I think just starting small will lead to bigger changes. The idea is simple but requires hard work and effort. The hard work and effort require the true desire to change, and the desire to change has to come from you. You need more than just a resolution. The journey to be in shape is just beginning for Lafayette residents Jared Bond and Terry Staley. They responded to a call out in December of last year in hopes to show all of you who are thinking about losing weight that no matter male or female or how old you are, it's never too late. In part two of More Than a Resolution, we'll share their stories and how you too can be in shape. Jesse Hawila, News 18. Very inspiring, Jesse. That was very nice. Thank you so much.